Here we're going to show you how to convert Energy Plus weather into dot bin weather data that can be used in eQuest among other software packages. We already have the links preloaded for time's sake and so the first link you'd want to go to is doto.com and you want to select the eQuest weather processor. That will take you to the next link and right here we want to right click and save link as And we had already navigated to the correct directory, but you'd want to go to your public database, eQuest 364 data, weather, and so on. And we'll save this here. And we need to have an energy plus weather file to convert. So what you could do is just look up energy plus weather on any search engine, and you should be taken to this page. We'll start with a simple weather file from Cuba. So we go to North and Central America, select Cuba, and we'll select the first one. Doesn't really matter which one in this case. And we'll save the link as, and it's saved. And we already had this folder open, but you'd want to navigate to the weather folder in your eQuest data folder. And so let's just go ahead and extract this EPW folder and we also want to extract the weather files and we can put them right in the weather folder or we can make a new folder epw-weather this is just for organization sake for purposes of illustration I'm just going to go ahead and delete these two .zip files because we no longer need them. The next folder we want to go to is the EPW folder. There's a processor folder within this folder. This download was a bit outdated and the first thing we just want to do is just delete this INI file. So if we delete this file, seems like we're making a mistake here, but it's going to regenerate the file when we open up the eQuest weather processor. So we'll go ahead and open this. And if you look here, there's no INI file that's created. But if we close out of it, the INI file is now there. So now we go ahead and open this, and we have to navigate to the file that we want to convert. And if you recall, we had created this EPW weather folder. Now, we had gone through a dry run of this before we recorded it, so the weather file is right here. But you would have to navigate to its location. We select Open, and it's going to have a default location to open in. And that happens to be the folder that we're looking at right here, which is convenient in this case because you can see what happens. So let's go ahead and click Convert. And here we have the .bin file that was created. We can review the converted data. And if it looks correct, which it does, we know that we've had a successful conversion. And so the next thing to do would be to test this in eQuest. We'll create a new project via the wizard, and we'll just call this, and for location set, we're going to select user selected, and we're just going to navigate to where we created the .bin file. Go ahead and click finish here. And if we can simulate this file without any errors, we know that the weather was simulated and converted correctly. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please post them to the comments.